This is Sarah Threadster Nurse, RN.com, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick review over fundal height. And this video is part of an NCLEX review series over maternity nursing. And as always, after you watch this video, don't forget to take the free quiz. So let's get started. What is fundal height and why do we care about it? Okay, the purpose of measuring a fundal height is to assess how well that baby is growing. Is the baby growing properly depending on how far along mom is? In addition, it helps us determine gestational age. Now, how do we measure it? Well, to measure it, I want you to remember two important landmarks. We want to remember the symphysis pubis and the fundus of the uterus. Now, the symphysis pubis is a cartilage joint found in between the pubic bone. And the fundus is the top part of the uterus. And when we measure this, we measure it in centimeters. So how do we do this? Well, first what you wanna do is you want to lay the patient on their back. Now, as mom is progressing in her pregnancy, baby's getting bigger, everything's getting bigger, and you wanna watch out for hypotension because whenever you lay her back, that can compress those major vessels and she can have hypotension. So watch out for any dizziness she's reporting, nausea, feeling lightheaded, anything like that. Then what you wanna do is you want to get a tape measure and extend that tape measure from the symphysis pubis to the fundus. And after doing this, we wanna make sure that that location of that fundus or that measurement of that fundus matches the gestational age. And one thing to keep in mind is that after 20 weeks, once that fundus goes past the belly button, that the measurement will actually start to match how far along the mom is, give or take, two centimeters. So now I wanna hit on some main concepts that you'll wanna remember for those maternity lecture exams and for the NCLEX exam. And what I want you to really remember are the locations of where this fundal height should be versus the weeks of pregnancy. And what I wanna be doing is I'm gonna be talking about during pregnancy, and then I'm gonna end it and wrap it up with after pregnancy, where that fundal height should be after the delivery of the baby, because you wanna know that as well. So first let's talk about during. Okay. Where should the fundus be at about 12 weeks of pregnancy? It should be above the symphysis pubis. So about in this area right here, remember the symphysis pubis was that cartilage joint in between the pubic bone. Now as the pregnancy progresses and she hits about 20 weeks of pregnancy, where would you find the fundus? At about the belly button. So we know if we were looking at the fundus, that if we find it in between the symphysis pubis and the belly button, about how far along is this mother? She's about 12 to 20 weeks because that's about the measurement. So the halfway point between that, let's say you have a test question and it says, you're looking at fundal height and you find um, it to be in between the symphysis pubis and the belly button. About how far along is she? Well, it'd be about 16 weeks because that's our halfway point. Now, as I was talking about earlier, after 20 to 36 weeks, that fundal height will reflect the weeks of pregnancy, give or take two centimeters. So popular test question would be, you have a mother, she's 26 weeks pregnant. Where would you expect that fundal height to be? Okay, well, it can be plus or minus two centimeters. So she's 26 weeks pregnant. It can be anywhere between 24 centimeters to 28 centimeters. So remember that key concept because Tess love to ask that. Now, at about 36 weeks pregnant, where would you expect the fundal height to be? At the xiphoid process. Mom is probably gonna have some issues breathing because it's up there where her lungs are, a lot of crowding. Now, after this time, about around 37 to 40 weeks, the fundal height is actually going to regress. It's gonna go down about four centimeters. Now, why is this? Why is it gonna go down? Well, body is preparing for birth. The baby has settled down into the pelvic cavity, so the fundal height decreases a little bit during that time. Now, let's look at where the fundal height should be after pregnancy, so after delivery of the baby, until it gets back to its pre-pregnancy size. Okay, about one hour after birth, you should expect the fundal height to be at the belly button. So if you have a test question that says, mom is one hour postpartum, where should the fundal height be? 
should be at the belly button. Now, as time goes on, the fundal height will decrease one centimeter per day. So it'll start decreasing one centimeter per day. So if the woman is 24 hours postpartum, where should that fundal height be? It should be one centimeter below the belly button. If she's 48 hours postpartum, it should be two centimeters below the belly button. Now, where should it be back at the symphysis pubis at seven days? So around seven days, this is about where you should expect it. Then the uterus is gonna start entering back into the pelvic cavity. So you're not gonna be able to palpate the fundus any longer. This occurs about 10 days to 14 days, depending on the woman. And at six weeks, it should be back, the uterus should be back at its pre-pregnancy size. Okay, so that wraps up this review over fundal height. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.